Hey girls, it's Friday and welcome to Montana. Oh, maybe I should not get us killed. So today we are going to get my paycheck. Woo! I'll just make the whole video while I wait to get out of this damn parking spot. This is my house, by the way. My house. Um, but I live right next to a school. So around noon which is what time it is now the parking the traffic gets kind of psycho you turn you turn you turn Woohoo! this week we're talking about romantic relationships and oh if you didn't notice I totally have my voice back um, it's like 90% so I am not worried at all for this weekend I'm totally me able to sing because I was on vocal rest all day yesterday so um we're talking about romantic relationships. For me, this is kind of a weird topic. I feel like I have a lot of similarities with Aaron. I um, didn't date at all in high school. I, you know, had a one of my best friends I was like totally in love with and that never came to fruition. Um, and when I went to orientation, I hate that song, for school, um, I met this guy and I didn't really think anything of it but then we ended up living in the same dorm and he was totally stalking me which is not true um, but he was just like everywhere I was and so my friend Jill orchestrated um, game night and we hung out and we started dating like two weeks after the semester started so um, she is definitely a matchmaker extraordinaire. I mean, except that went down the shitter. Um, it was a really serious relationship. Like, really serious. And it didn't last that long, but it was super serious for the time that it lasted. And then some things went on that scared the crap out of me. Um, don't worry. There was no, like, abuse or anything like that. But um, it just didn't... It just didn't work out, and uh, so we broke up, and um, it's actually part of the reason I transferred to the school that's in my hometown, because I kind of just had to get out of that situation. Um, luckily, Jill and I are still friends, and I'm in her wedding this summer, so um, who she also, she started dating him, like, right after Jamie and I broke up which is crazy town. And then there was my best friend in high school. Um, we reconnected and I went to the state Kelly lives in to visit and told him I had feelings for him and our friendship effectively ended. So that was awesome. And then there has only been one guy since then. It was That was super, super short um, and kind of weird and not really romantic at all. I wasn't, I would not consider it really a relationship. Um, the thing is that I have had a lot of weird shit happen and I have a lot of trouble trusting that people are attracted to me. Um, I have a lot of male friends and I know how they think. It's bad. <laughs> Guys are jerks sometimes. I'm afraid of rejection. I don't know, Claudie. Claudie was totally right when she said that you should just go for it. Because I have, but sometimes it's just like that's, it's just not. I would rather, I mean, I believe in love and I really want to be in love more than probably anyone knows. Um, I'm more romantic than a lot of you think. But I, uh, I know that I put out a vibe of unavailable because um, I'm just not interested in anything casual and anything completely a waste of my time. Okay, tracked man. Oh, that's a backhoe, not a tractor. 
Um, welcome to Montana. There's backhoes on the streets. So the closest I get to a relationship presently is that I'm in a fake Facebook relationship with one of my coworkers. And uh, she's amazing, but we were talking one night about how men suck and um, we're both straight. And so she was like, do you want to be my Facebook girlfriend? So we're in an open Facebook relationship, which I think is pretty funny. Um, and so does our boss. Um, there's actually two other girls that work with us that are in an open Facebook relationship too and they're all just it's all just a joke um, so in case you were wondering about that if you're my friend on Facebook uh, it's just a joke don't trust people very easily it takes me a long time to get to know people and to like feel like we're friends there are very few people that I'm just like, oh yes, we're friends right now. Like, it takes a while for me, and... I don't know, I don't know. I guess I'm just not in a place where I'm willing to put myself on the line. And if it happens, it happens. Okay, so um, I'm gonna continue on my journey to get my paycheck and to buy my secret Santa present. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, I probably have you. Because I got mine this week. And I'm like having such a hard time not opening it because it's sitting like right by my computer. Okay, so I'm gonna try and not break any traffic laws and I will talk to you later. I love you. Bye. Oh yeah, I switched to Thursday next week. Woohoo! Bye.